Hello, it's Shub again, and today I will show you what to do as Arabia team game pocket player. This build will be easy to follow and as simple as it can get. About choosing your strategy between one and two stables and everything about those matters I will discuss in another video that will come later this week. This video is simply showing you build order till you make the choice of either one or two stables. So you start off by building two houses, the other house with one villager, the other house with two, and it's pre preferable to start the house with two villagers first, so you won't get out at the beginning. Then found, find your sheep. After you find your sheep, send two of the sheep under your town center and put six villagers on sheep eating it. Total. The other two sheep split them away. You can first split them as a same group and then mix them to different groups. The way I do it is I group them on one, two and three while my scout is on one. And what I do is I go like this and press it to go there and press to go there. That's the way I have found it to be the easiest to use the sheep as a scouting help with the scouting. Once you have six villagers on sheep, you want to make a lumber camp. Now you want to put the lumber camp on a forest, preferably on the back side or on the safer side in your base. But um, you should uh, at this point already think about maybe where you're gonna make the town centers in castleates so what i thought was i'm gonna put the town center here so these villagers are pretty safe there especially if i make my buildings here to block around it's not as important where you place your lumber camps in as pocket but as a flank it's really important to always get the back ones if you have those available to prevent any fast rushing or towers to your resources. Always remember to send them sheep back in time so you have enough sheep on the town center to eat. So it doesn't happen that you eat two sheep and then you realize that oh my scouting sheep are still ar around scouting and I don't have anything under the town center. That's the worst situation that can happen. Once you have four villagers on wood, you send the next villager to get the boar. It's always advisable to get the boar that is on the front side first to prevent any stealing. The villager after that will go and build a house and Taylor will go and eat the berries. I will put three more villagers to eat the berries and uh, so you have a total of four. The way you want to keep the villagers is just simply use two on the other side and two on the other side so they have the maximum efficiency. Once you have found your sheep, which I haven't yet, I only found uh, two extra sheep or the two secondary sheep, go and lure your deer. Now this is not a must thing. This build is not as clutch, so if you want, you can, like in this situation, you could get them without uh, just so that the villagers would gather them to this mill, it would be fine. Or you could make another mill, that would be fine, but it's always the best to use the, your scout to lure them to your town center for maximum efficiency. When you have around 150 food and boar left, send the villager out to get the boar. Now I used the 16, 16 pop villager to make another house, so you won't get housed. Now after you put have 4 villager on berries and you lure the boar make house, then all of the rest of your villagers until pop 20 will go on the TC food. Now I only make far one farm, if I didn't lure this deer already, I would probably make, I would make two more farms, but 
as I know that my TDs are close and I'm gonna lure them in, I just don't want to have my deer and boar meat rot, so I don't put them to farms yet. If you have four deer, you will only need uh, three farms to get to castle age, really. So you don't need to make more farms until you click up to castle. If you have three deers, you'll probably need four farm. If you don't have any deer at all, then you'll need uh, six farms. Now at pop 20, go again and put four villagers on another lumber camp. So it's pretty simple. Four on the first lumber camp and then four on the second lumber camp. Now once you have leered the deer, make sure to scout your enemies. So you have some scouting information on who you're against and stuff like that. <clears throat> when the villager that is the pop 23 is going to the lumber camp, make a house on the way. That's always how I do the house. Now when you have four, put four villagers on wood, you are at pop 24, you will put, put three more villagers and then you will make loom and then advance to fiddle age. Now the way I make the mining camp is I will put it one tile away from the gold. This is uh, firstly because eventually you'll gold will get so crowded that if you put next to it, it would be extremely inefficient and also because this allows you to easily wall the villagers you have on the gold pile uh, so you can save them from uh, possible scout harassment or if the if you get rushed or something from the fetal position <coughs> After you have three villagers, make sure to put them nicely around, make a loom and then click up to fill edge. Now simply put two palisades and now your villagers will be protected against rush or scout harassment. Now around, when you're around 55% to fill edge start building your barracks that way it will finish at the time you reach field age and you are able to make the stable straight away once you get to field age simply make stable and blacksmith in this case I think I'm actually a bit late on making the barracks uh, those will just cost some extra seconds it's not a big deal but you you, you really don't want to like the, it's like five percent late at least like 10 seconds it will not be finished when I get to feel but it won't take many seconds anyway but like in in AOC it's really true that uh, Perfection comes from all the small things, so if you keep doing these small mistakes, it will eventually hurt you. And even the small things will hurt you, but if you keep doing them right, then you are getting close to perfection. <clears throat> when you get Phil, Table Blacksmith, pretty simple. Now you can make farms as your franks but actually what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop because this is the time where your your one stable and two stable builds will start to differ in the way what you're gonna do after this point so I will discuss the one stable two stable how the strategies differ and how you can make different one stable different two stable strategies depending on the situations, when to add town centers, all that I will discuss in another video that I will most likely upload Saturday or Sunday possibly. Another channel updates. Um, 
I have a plan to make a lot of these videos, but if you want any specific, like if you want to know uh, some good strategies for like any Civ Korea, whatever you want, just post on the comments and um, my plan for now is to upload a video every other day, so that means three to four videos per week. So I hope you guys gonna support me. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. Give a subscription. And thank you for watching and I will see you another time. See you.